I don't really give a damn about personal consequences. You're making that painfully obvious. But I'm not going to sit by and watch an innocent man go to prison. I can't believe this. You're actually defending Warren? Is it because you really believe he's innocent, David? Or is it simply because my coming forward as Warren's alibi would make it easier for you to divorce me? Ulterior motives of your, of your department, not, not mine. No, I'm sorry. I... David, so much has happened. I don't think either of us really knows what we're saying anymore. No, I am very clear on my position. I want you to go to Stapleton and tell him that you and Warren were together that night. Yeah, right. Well, while I'm at it, why don't I just issue a press release? Or better yet, let me hold a press conference. Because I strongly doubt the district attorney will have any compunction about naming names in the media. David, I'm not just thinking about myself. Even if Marilyn is kept completely out of this, your name will be dragged into it. Your reputation, your career, everything you've worked for, everything we have worked for. The whole basis of our marriage will be gone. Well, it's a little bit late to bring this marriage into this. I mean, it's a miracle that it's still in intact. And you know, I will almost be relieved when it's done and gone. <laughs> you don't mean that. I do. And if you're honest about loving me, you'll do the only thing that you can do now to prove it. You will go to the DA and you will tell him exactly what happened the night Mason was shot. <laughs>